Welcome back to another Unturned video. In today's epic video, we're going to go from a naked at a spawn to having one of the best raids on Ross Turned. We will be making a ton of enemies in the process, which some of them even try to door camp our base, a ton of fighting against insanely geared players and dominating the server. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more in the future, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes. If we reach that like goal, I'll be sure to post another Ross Turned video soon. Also, subscribe to not miss any future video, each one helps the channel grow a ton, and we're trying to reach 50,000 soon. Last video, I announced a mythical giveaway, and this is the winner. To claim a prize, please join my Discord, the link will be in the description description below. Today we're going through another mythical which is an enchanted goggly cap which was kindly donated by Desmond. To win this mythical make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning and there's also a thousand skin giveaway happening in my discord so make sure to check it out. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to start your own unturned servers? If you are then I got the best option for you and that is Pine Hosting. With Pine Hosting even if you're new to hosting it is perfect for you since it is very easy to learn and super user friendly. They have locations all around the world and the pricing is also quite cheap. If you're trying to host more games than Unturned, they also have Rust, Ark, Minecraft and much more where you can purchase. My favorite feature from Pine Hosting is that we can install plugins and mods literally just by one click. If you have servers with another host, you don't have to worry because they will provide personal help to move your servers. Make sure to check out Pine Hosting today and be sure to use the code LDG for 30% off and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, we are in Ross Turn. Today we're not gonna be solo, we're gonna be a, a pretty big group. Now we're currently one of the most popular Ross Turn servers. Now I'm pretty sure I do have some stuff in my vault, some guns. Yeah, we do a uh, heavy plate, MP5. I'm actually gonna take that just in case there are people here. But today we're going to try to go from nothing, kind of nothing at least. Basically from a spawn to having one of the largest bases on Ross Turn. The server does have a lot of zergs. A lot of big groups, a lot of geared players We're already here, M249, and we just logged in. We're gonna try to get ourselves, hopefully, something good out of this, man. That's really all I want. We're over at Harbor, I'm gonna try to pick up as much barrels as possible before we actually start building base. Now, in my opinion, this is the most realistic... Oh, there's... Somebody died here, but he just has a bunch of scrap. But yeah, this was probably one of the most realistic rust turn servers that there are out there. A lot of stuff does actually work, including recyclers, furnaces, refineries, workbenches... It's always full of people. It's always around 100 players, which were untrained. It's honestly crazy. All right, so we're gonna recycle before we actually go anywhere. Maybe we'll get ourselves some good stuff. Uh, yeah, a bunch of tech trash. That's actually nice. We got ourselves a shirt. Come on, man. We gotta get that loot. I really wanted myself like a good gun. There, we got ourselves another tier one weapon. More scrap. Lovely. We're gonna need scrap. I don't think I have anything learned, actually. I may. I'm not entirely sure. But since we're gonna be a pretty big group, we're gonna probably just leave one person learn everything and it's gonna be like the crafter of the group. Alright, so let's head to the recycler and actually start recycling and then afterwards we'll start heading inland looking for a base raid. There's actually high quality in here. Kind of funny. Yeah, let's put everything in there. In time we'll loot these. Yeah, more pipes, more scrap, lovely. Riot helmet. I'll, I'll take that. It's a pretty nice pickaxe. Alright, so we're gonna start farming stone. We're gonna obviously build base firstly with stone and then once we get ourselves more smelted. We oh, hear AK. Pretty sure that was AK. It sounded close, so I'm gonna be a bit careful. But yeah, I'm vaulting the important stuff, obviously. Don't wanna die and lose everything. Especially farm, the metal that we got from the recycler, the high quality. Yeah, I'm gonna head over to a gas station soon. There should be some more military crates. I really wanna try to get myself a leather hatch and we can use that, learn that. And basically just build the base with it. It'll be a very good feature. I do have a bit of a base plan for today, but I don't know if I'll actually do it. Depends if we get this leather hatch. Oh, there's a guy coming. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he may be coming from this big base, actually. Oh, he's geared. Oh, my God. Oh, that's an easy AK, man. Now right, we should get out of here, actually. I have a feeling this large base is his. Because I'm pretty sure it was live. There were, like, live sentries around it, so... We should definitely just run out of here and leave. He was geared as hell, man. Oh, my mate is dead. Yeah, it is their base. Bro, this base is humongous. Uh, I should try to vault some stuff, man. I have a full inventory of loot. Let's accept our teammate's TP. I don't think he's even going for my mate's loot. He's coming around. Oh, I'm dead, man. Oh well, there goes the AK. Not a great start if we actually ran around with it, but there's nothing we can do. We should probably focus on building base first. Yeah, we both died. I did manage to vault some stuff from that run, actually, from recycling. But yeah, let's just try to find ourselves a base location first and then focus on looting later. Because if that happened and we had a base, I would have actually just ran to base and we, we would have gotten ourselves a full AK set. And there's also quarries in the server now. I don't know exactly if they work though, but we'll definitely check it out later on. This base is completely open. Imagine there's loot, but... 
There's a few crates, but yeah, they're all empty. This base has been completely looted. All right, we're gonna build base here. Very nice location. Close to lighthouse, close to the snow biome, so there's gonna be much more nodes over there. And we're also close to a pretty large monument. There's recycler refinery here. If we just take this place over, that would be great. But yeah, the majority of our team has also joined. They're all looting there. I'm just building here. Should actually go there and loot with them. All right, we got ourselves a TC. We got ourselves a lot of stone. My team has already grinded a lot. We were all farming together. It was, uh... Quite quick farming till you know, we got ourselves a bed as well. We gotta get ourselves metal frags. We need a furnace. Actually, we already have rags. I think they recycled. Oh, yeah, we're gonna make a door then. Code lock. Base is already secure. All right, we're gonna start upgrading base to full stone. I should have more than enough stone. Afterwards, we'll make ourselves some storage because we have literally nothing. But today, I do want to actually have myself like a full core, high quality base. I think if we do that, then it'll be great. All right, lovely. And we got ourselves full stone. We just gotta put... Actually, we still have to do that roof. There we go. All right, not too bad. I got myself another door, another code lock. And we already got ourselves an airlock, so... Starting to look quite good, man. All right, so we've been working a bit. Uh, progress quite nicely. Got ourselves our first furnace. So that's, that's pretty nice. I think we can actually make another one, to be honest. But now we can start smelting metal. Yeah, I'm gonna make ourselves a second furnace. We got ourselves a refinery, so we started building the second floor. Got ourselves a large furnace, we'll put it up here, it'll be the furnace room. We could put it at the very corner over there. Yep, that looks good. So now the monument we're living next to, it's actually just completely ours. Literally nobody has came. Alright, let's just take as much as possible when it comes to metal and sulfur and they're gonna start cooking. So today we're definitely gonna try to do some raiding. 100%, there's no question about that. And there we go. Alright, so we also got ourselves workbench level 3 already. We're moving speed, we're going so fast today. Let's put all of this back in there. I don't know about what I have learned actually, I'm gonna check it out. We'll put that right over here. Uh, looks good. Yeah, we don't have anything learned. Alright. I'm pretty sure I have level 1 and 2 something learned, though. Maybe a few guns. Get ourselves some software, lovely. But yeah, we're currently we're literally just distributing stuff to do. Some of us are looting, some of us are farming. I'm just gonna go on a loot run really quickly. I can actually try to go on the other side. Maybe it's a lighthouse. There's people on the other side, I'm pretty sure, actually. I don't know if we should go there. If we go there, we should all go there. Because there's a lot of large groups on the survey. So, if we come across a clan base, we may actually just get completely destroyed. Alright, so we made it to the other side. There is chop trees here. There's- wait, that base is live, I think. Oh yeah, it is. Hit him. Bro, I can't hit him. There we go, he's dead. LR shots. Alright, let me try to do- We can get in this base, we can go deep, we just need a ladder. Alright, may There's a sentry up there though, but I think it's off. Oh, he's in there, I hear him wearing clothes. Alright, he's out here. Hit him, he's dead. Yeah, he came out with a bow. Bro, that's messed up. We should have a bit of a cooldown now for him to home. There's people talk- There's a gyro here too. Bro, that's huge. If we get this gyro, we can actually just, just get up there. He's there. Dead. He's down. There we go, dead as well. Honestly, I don't think they even have anything good in there. But if they have a little bit of farm, we can actually just use that. They do have a double door and stone, so... Maybe they do have some stuff in there, actually. I think my teammate brought a ladder. Yeah, yeah, we got a ladder. And let's go in. Oh, he's out here. Yeah, my guy's naked. They have anything? I got a rock. Some metal, some stone, some wood. Yeah, they're inside, they're talking. I don't know what they're saying. They're probably not gonna come out now, though. He's coming out again. They're actually gonna leave them alone. They don't have anything. They're literally coming out with bows. It's not really worth our ammo either, so we're just gonna leave. I think they just started off as well, sadly. But we're gonna... But they're gonna be very close to our base, so they may be a... It may be a problem in the future. But if they do get good loot later on, if they start killing us with AKs or whatever, we'll try to... Oh, there's a guy coming. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, he's dead. Bro, my guy had like a... What is that? Thompson? Yeah. Thompson. And full hazmat. Lovely. That was an easy Tommy gun. The guy probably heard us shoot. There's another large base here. Damn. This could be his base, actually. I'm not sure. Let's switch to SAR. SAR is much better in my opinion. Oh, there's some metal nodes I'll take. This could be live then, yeah. Yeah, he is. He's inside. LR. 
Bro, there's so many bases close to our base, man. And he's medding in there, I hear him. Let's try to go behind this, this barricade here. He's not gonna push out, obviously. There's no way he's gonna come out. He's gonna stay in there, hide, camp. And shoot through those bars. He's on the roof now. And he's up there, he got hit. Hit him, 32 damage. I don't know what we're gonna do, we could try to let her up, but... I don't really think that I'll do anything. Let me actually vault that Thompson just in case we die. I would actually get a gun from this. And it's ammo. Where's the guy back there? Hit him. Hit him again. He's down. I downed him. Killed him. Bro, that guy seemed geared too. We gotta try to get his loads. This guy's up here is gonna be a problem. Yo, if my team tries to get that, that would be huge. Oh, he's up there. Hit him. Oh my god, I'm down. I was trying to get for that guy's load. He had AK, I think. Alright, so we're back in base. Uh, my teammate got a lot of loot. Jesus, look at that. Bro, we're gonna do such a huge recycle run. But yeah, my teammates did get my loot and the guy that I killed loot and then they backed off. It's not a good idea to stay there. He's just gonna door camp and roof camp. But pretty nice, man. Pretty nice. There's a dude there. He's dead. Let's check out what my boy had. Oh, well, hazmat soot, double barrel. Yeah, we're killing everybody that comes here. Some stuff is glitched through. We can't really get them man we're currently doing a huge recycle run getting a lot of metal from it high qual scrap i'm gonna put some stuff in there too actually now uh, we're back in base the furnace is literally ongoing 24 7 but yeah currently some software is being cooked we got a research table too looking pretty nice i think we're saving up enough scrap so that we can all learn c4 or one of us learn c4 i think it's a better way to save scrap if just one person crafts C4 all by himself. But yeah, we got ourselves a lot of crates now. They're mostly empty, but we got two refineries. Let's actually place some oil in there. We need more wood. I have no idea how to split. We got some garage doors too, looking pretty nice. Put all of this in there. We got so much more stuff to salvage as well. Oh, we got satchels. Oh, nice. We're starting to make some raiding gear. Probably gonna start doing some smaller raids first with hmm. satchels and then do larger raids with C4. Alright, so I got enough frags to start upgrading base to full metal, so the furnace room is literally about to be full metal. We just gotta do the wall at the very back, and it'll be full metal. And we're gonna start upgrading this part, so we gotta rotate some of the stuff. Even though on the server there's no soft side, but it just looks better, honestly. That's it. Alright, even the loot room is, should be full metal now. We just gotta do this wall. Oh, I don't have enough resources. There we go. We got some more metal. Lovely. Just gonna do this floor. And we got ourselves a full metal loot room. I'm still gonna make the rest met metal. So I want it to be full metal. But we'll do that later. We got ourselves an armored door as well. Beautiful. You just put this code lock there. So I did learn armored door. So I'm replacing all of the doors to armored. Even though this part of the base is still <laughs> made out of stone. But it'll literally be upgraded all of it. We'll upgrade this part to HQM because I just realized we have a lot of HQM from farming. So the loot room will be full HQM. So at least people raiding will use a little bit more. We're gonna do that one. Oh, I don't have any more. Do we have any more HQM? We should. I don't know. We'll put HQM there though. Yeah, we got ourselves another loot run. This dude came back with more loot. I think everyone is doing individual loot runs and dropping everything that they get. That's the good thing about being a group. You get loot so quickly, man. It's crazy. Alright, so I did manage to upgrade the majority of base. So, uh, full metal. I'm gonna rotate it. Looks better. I think the only thing we have to do is the roof. Make it into full metal. Because currently it's just stone. Yeah, it is. It's not really a problem, though. There's somebody shooting outside. Somebody's camping our door or something. I don't exactly know what's going on. I'm gonna go on the roof. I don't know where. Oh, he's right there. We really should try to make another floor. There we go. He's dead. Alright, uh, it's closed door. I think he was a solo. This was the dude, actually. We killed him earlier. Yeah, he killed one of us. Let's check out what loot he had. Seemed geared. Oh, damn. He was, he was stacked, bro. He has heavy helmet. A lot of stone, man. So much clothes. I think he killed somebody and was trying to run away. Alright, well, easy loot. There's another gear set right over there, man. Alright, huge. Alright, so my teammate found a base being raided. And we're gonna try to counter. He has literally no gun. I gave him the Thompson I got earlier. We're gonna try to counter. We're gonna... It came with nothing that good of a gun. We don't know how many people are raiding. 
We don't know if the owners are online, but odds are we may die. But if we do make something happen, then we're gonna get some good loot, man. Oh, he's right back there. I saw him. Oh, my teammate just pushed in. Oh, he's dead. No. My Thompson. You could just hold this angle. There's crates up there, too. What? How is he not dead? Nah. I hit him so many times. What the hell? Oh, there goes my custom, too. They're still in there. He's coming out. Dead. There's another dude. I'm gonna try to get his gun. I think he had M249. Oh my god, he's geared as hell. Bro, there's so much junk. Let's med up before we bleed out. Alright, we're good. I don't think it's a good idea to push. Let me actually vault the M249. That's huge. Our first M249. We got an LR too. Oh, they're camping, bro. Oh, there's another guy back there as well. There's so many people. There's like five dudes in there. Yeah, let's not push. What the? There's a horse upside down. What the hell? Oh, there's some loot back here, but nothing good. He's right back here. He's pushing out. He's pushing me. Oh, my God. I think my teammate got him, though. I'm gonna suicide. And we're gonna TP back. There's outside. Bro, I have a shotgun. That gave 15 damage. That was not really good. Door camping us. Yeah, he's right down there. He saw me. He has LR, man. I don't know how I'm gonna kill him. Hit him. Hit him again. Bro, he's... How is he not dead? I'm gonna bleed out. I'm 2 HP. Bro, how is he not dead? Oh, I bled out, man. There's no way. He has the same guy I killed earlier. He's back door camping us. I need a gun, man. Quickly. There we go. Double barrel. It has no ammo. Does this one have ammo? Nope. Bro, I'm going out there with M249. I don't care. Where is he? What? He's climbing up? He's trying to get up. Oh, he got backstabbed. Oh, that's hilarious. He got third partied. There we go. Try to swim away. Or right, everyone should be dead. Yep. Full gear set. Got my loot back. Let's check out what this dude had that I killed over here. All right, some more guns. MP5. Pretty nice. We gotta destroy these leathers. We're back at this raid. There's a lot of bags. They're still in there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. They, my team. Oh, he's not dead. Now he is. Yeah, they're literally door camping with smokes, bro. That's crazy. Oh, he's out there. And he's dead. My teammate could try to go for his loot, actually. Oh, he's back there. He has AK. Oh, he saw my teammate. He could try to go around the base. Oh, he got his loot, though. Nice. We could try to leave. We got a full uh, AK set. Oh, Thompson here, so another double barrel. I don't have any ammo, man. Can have a bit involved, but no, I don't. He's not camping. They're camping by the corner. I don't know how he hit me there. It's mad up. They're still in here. They've been in here for so long. All right, so currently we're preparing to do some raids, some small raids. We got a lot of satchels. Uh, Sonic has been just in here farming and getting raiding gear ready while we are out there PvPing and farming loot. So we may actually go raid something very very soon. We got a lot of sulfur, a lot of metal, a lot of gump out there. So we should be able to go raid something very very soon. Alright, so earlier I did mention that we can craft quarries now in, in this survey. And then we did find some diesel, but I don't exactly know how it works. Alright, so I got a lot of scrap. I did learn to armor door earlier, but now I'm gonna learn C4, AK, bolt, scope, and HMLMG. We can actually, I can learn everything now. We just need to do the pants. All right, so we're gonna need to learn something from level 3. I should be able to craft them. It should be not easy. Should not be hard to do, man. And it'll be useful in the future if we get raided. This base wasn't here, I think. Oh yeah, there's a guy in there. He's dead. I have some stuff. Bro, my guy... Oh, he didn't even finish building the base. Oh, feels bad. Well, we just got rid of a neighbor, basically. Could have been a problem in the future, but... Insane base raid. All right, boys, we're gonna do a base raid with Satchel. We found that 2x2 two two stone should be more than enough to raid. I don't exactly know how much it takes. I'm pretty sure it takes, like, 5, 6, 7, but... We have 17 in total, so... Should be more than enough. I'm actually gonna check. All right, that gave around 100... A little more than 100 damage... So it should be around five. Yeah, we need one more and then we'll be through. Yep, we're through. And yeah, there's another be another one. 
I was kind of hoping it's going to be full open. Also, most of my team, it's actually their first time playing Rust Turned. They literally got interested from my previous videos. Yeah, we're through. Uh, TC. There's some stuff, nothing that crazy though. Hazmat, a lot of scrap. You know what, that scrap is actually quite nice. No guns though, sadly. Oh, there's some more stuff over here. We got a backpack. Night vision. Yeah, we could take everything from here. I was kind of hoping for more from this raid. But it's our first raid. We got it with satchels. So perhaps just from satchels, it's actually not that bad. Got a salvaged axe too. And yeah, there's some workbenches there. There's a locker too, next to the furnace. It's literally camouflage, bro. You could barely see it. I'm gonna check out what this locker has though. Maybe the good loot is in it. If the TC was full, then probably the locker is also full of loot. Alright, well, the furnace had some sulfur in it. We broke from the uh, satchel, so... Come on, man, give us the good loot. Didn't break yet. How much HP is it at? 164. Yeah, one more then. One more should be enough. Alright, yeah, broke and looks like... Ah, uh, nothing good, man. Wooden gates. This raid wasn't anything that crazy. But we'll take everything. We'll take it. So we actually found this base and it is live. There's a few people in there. We should try to get through actually. It would be funny if we raid this base live. Yeah, there's a dude right there. He's naked though. He's getting shot at by pistol. He doesn't have anything. I already placed all that there. It's right back here, man. We really need those satchels before they start upgrading it to stone or, or metal or whatever. Alright, satchel blow up, two blow up. We're gonna need more, man. Two more. It could be enough for a wooden roof, to be honest. Yep, we're through. Also, oh, even sealed. Garage door. Bro, it's completely open. There's a bed. More beds. We gotta break that TC. I don't know where the owners are, though. Where are they? Bro, this base is a maze. Where the hell is he? Oh, he's right here. He's dead. Alright, uh, let's just destroy the CC so we take this over. Yeah, break that bed. Alright, broke and yeah, nothing that good. Bro, this base is large. How is there literally nothing good? There's a dude there. I think the owners of this base actually locked up. Let's check out what he had and then we'll home. So we got some C4 by the way, so we're gonna try to find ourselves a decently-ish base to raid. Alright, we found a base, full metal, two bites, so hopefully there's some juice in it. We're gonna use C4 for this. Well, apparently not. I thought it did. How much HP is it at? Alright, we're through. Yep, it's open and sulfur. Lovely, there's a few crates. Oh, it's actually full of loot. Lovely. Alright, he's dropping it on the floor. Thank god I can see what's in it. More sulfur, more metal. There's a tier 3 here. This one's empty, this one's empty too. There's actually a lot of stuff, damn. Alright, not too bad for 2C4. That's not that bad actually. But the TC is not around here, man. Probably it's in this one by one back here. Probably that's where the good loot is, obviously, in the TC, you know? High quality, sulfur. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff from this raid. High external gate, more gunpowder, more metal. Yeah, we're gonna have to move all of this loot, obviously. I broke, lovely. And yeah, TC is right here. Let's just break it. There we go, and... Okay, yep. A lot more loot. There's even more crates up here. Another refinery, that's our third refinery, but yeah, man, good loot. This raid was actually quite well. There's a dude back here. There we go, he's dead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he had a spas only. Alright, so now it's time to start moving all of the loot, but I'm really happy with this raid. Huge W. We're gonna have to salvage so much stuff and recyclers too. Alright, we're back in base, huge W run. And I'm probably gonna head off for the day. This was day one of our wipe. Pretty good. Uh, honestly, we have so much loot in a very short time. Alright boys, that's gonna be the end of this video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys want, I do have another video coming out very, very soon. Where it's kind of similar to this, but a bit different. We're going on a big group again, and we're actually going to join on the second day of Wipe. So if you guys do want to see that video coming out soon, there's a lot of PvP, a lot of action, a lot of raiding in that video. So let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.